Well, uh, let's see. Uh, did we really need Dateline to tell us that? Do you really need Dateline to tell you that this guy, like Jerry Falwell, Pat Robertson, the Pope, <laughs> and anybody else are uh, frauds? How could you even listen? You're sitting here on this show, you're bitching about Benny Hinn and all the millions he's taken away from people, and blah, blah, blah. How much is the Vatican worth? And how about those goofy robes the poop and his friends all wear? His Condre. How much are those worth? How about his special bulletproof vehicle? How about all the artwork, uh, the jewelry uh, in every freaking church in, in the land? Uh, in, in gold, silver, jewels, art. Billions, trillions of dollars. And you bitch about this one guy who got he got slick, and then you fools, it, you know, it serves you all right. You know, I want to give you money. These fools serves you right. I don't care. I don't care. He's going to end up dying one of these days, and that shit's going to go somewhere else. It's just money. What tears me up is that you fools drag your children to this crap. That's the worst part of this whole thing. You, as adults, you have the right to go to any cult, suck any cock you want to. Kiss any ass, do anything you want. That's your business. You want to be a Scientologist? Go for it, you freak. Stupid ass. Want to be a Christian? Dumbass. Go ahead. When your daughter comes up to get married and she's not a virgin, you got to take her out in the backyard and stone her to death. And if your brother doesn't believe in your same God, you gotta take him to the front of the village and stone him to death. Then you gotta take all your baby boys every time they're born and your slaves. Remember now, the Bible loves slavery. Slavery and murder. Slavery and murder. Kill and slave. Uh, or torture, mutilate. Like uh, all our baby boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can call it what you want. I call it uh, circumcision is a, a genital torture. That's all it is. It's mutilation, period. There is no medical reason. And uh, that's just another thing. Uh, these are all just, uh, I'm just mentioning all these things that are in all these different religions. And you guys want to bitch about Benny Hand saying that he's next to God. And he said he saw a man turn into a snake with his own eyes. He said that. Well, you know, if you give the guy money, you believe it, that's your fault. I still get that. A lot of you guys, it, what difference does it make? You, you, you got Catholics giving money to the damn poop every year, all the time, and every every Sunday. And they, and they force their kids to. They got these little special envelopes that you put in for money in for you, put it in your little basket. <laughs> God. They got a whole system set up for it. And many hands up. Uh, uh, his his work is in those counting all that money <laughs> sitting at the tables counting all that money and everything you know and then he, he he won't audit is he like you know tax exempt if so please take a look attorneys generals take a look at this guy you know he's a fraud you know that's bullshit hold on unless you too believe in the superhero. If, if you too have a superhero delusional deity in your head, then you might as well just let it go. You may as well. You probably go to church every Sunday too. And, you know, do your little rituals and shit to your deity, your superhero. You people are making me sick. It's just so funny. In all the comments, they're talking shit about many in. <laughs> Come on. Is it really any different than the Catholic Church? Scientology, Baptists and Protestants in general, Mormons, anything? Even, is there any real difference? Tell me something that's different. Suddenly, Chuck Rack said, That's what you got to do. Eyes. You can't just, you know, that's a heck of a if you're going to do a show about 
defrauding the public, defrauding the public with religion, then you need to do a show about the Pope. Not from the standpoint of him being spiritual, because he's a freaking Nazi. You need to do a show about the fucking Pope and the way he's defrauding the public. And all his cadres. Let's see that, Dateline. Come on. I dare you. I freaking dare you. If you don't, you know, otherwise keep your mouth shut. Shut the fuck up. You probably believe in your own, you have your own freaking delusional deity. And as far as you guys are all concerned, your Bible, if you believe that, that, that thing's full of nothing but serial killing and begging for money. Does God really need fucking money? It's an omnipotent creature for crying out loud. Think for a second. It's supposed to be omniscient. This is irritating. It can be very stressful. Realizing that people are dragging their children to this crap. And forcing them to give them money. I remember when I was a kid. Well, I'm trying to make us give a dime. A dime, you know, we didn't have any money. Ten cents is all it's give us to give to the damn church. Why is she giving them money? We were poor. It just pissed me off. And then I asked him, Hey, what about this wedding? You know, that Jesus supposedly went to. They didn't have nothing but water. And he turned the water into wine to give them. Isn't he the son of God? Don't you think he would know that alcohol is a poison? Yeah, I know. You're going to say, wine was different. Uh, they needed wine because they couldn't keep water fresh. Uh, just stupid made up excuses, just like the circumcision thing, relieving AIDS and, and STDs. That's brand new. Nobody ever said anything like that so for the last 20 years. And actually, erectile dysfunction is mostly caused by circumcision. Every single man who has erectile dysfunction is circumcised. You won't find a whole man with that problem. Later. And that's what religion is doing, people. Yep, I know. But we're not talking about churches. Yeah, well, we're talking about all of the fraudulent bullshit that religions do. That's what we're talking about because you're bitching about Benny Hinn and he's no different than the Pope. We have another show about them and that's been around for thousands of years. So let's see you do a show, like I said, do a show about the poop. Yeah, I call it the poop. He is nothing but a big excrement. Big piece of shit Nazi. Good afternoon. I'm Justin Wrestling.